I never had the fashion bug until I went to the Philadelphia Museum College of Art to become an art teacher. I went on a tour of the school when they took us through a room full of mannequins, and I said, oh, maybe I should try fashion design, because I loved the drawing, and I could have been an illustrator, but illustrators are copying what has been designed by somebody. Mm. And I wanted to be the one to design it, whatever the garment was. Hello. Hey! Hey! <laughs> 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 I have vintage shop for Southpaw, and I collect a lot of designers. And top, at the very top is Stephen Burroughs. Oh, he's found so many new things. Yeah, this was from my old boutique. Yes, I, I remember coming to do my first show with you as a baby. Many designers have taken inspiration from Stephen Burroughs because he was such a trendsetter. You were also way before your time then, <laughs> no? I guess so. <laughs> you don't know that when you're in it. You're just doing your thing. <laughs> we were into Mambo, and I wanted to make dresses for my partners. I was just making clothes for my friends. And we all go out together in a crowd and arrive at parties all at the same time, all dressed by me. And they said we And I never saw the clothes again. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to keep making new clothes. Steven's creation at the time was so different from the rest of the designers. And all of your pieces, you have this edging to them. The lettuce. It's called lettuce. Yeah. This is iconic lettuce. Yeah. This is also your statement, all right? Look at that. Many designers have taken inspiration from Stephen Burroughs because he was such a trendsetter. And that's why he's part of fashion history. This is 1972. It fits completely to my body <laughs> because my mother wore it. You made it for her, obviously, in mind. Yes, and, absolutely. Uh, With your mother, it was love at first sight. Because she looked just like a sketch of mine that walked up the page. So that's why there's movement. Every yes. garment feels like there's a, there's a breath of air in it. When I got started, you had to learn the basics for woven fabrics. But I was into knits as opposed to a woven because it stretched. It was like skin, subtle but more comfortable to be in. I guess I wanted to go against everything they taught me. Oh, they did. <laughs> <laughs> Just like with the stripes. That's but a great example of it. Stripes saying. had to match. No, they don't. It was breaking a rule back then. Well, at the time, yeah. yes. I just wanted everyone to have fun. I thought any color goes together, you just have to put it together. In the 70s, all throughout the clubs, like you saw Stephen Burroughs. I just didn't know it was Stephen. His clothes have life in them. He just connects in a way where no other designer does. And every other designer pulls from him, believe me. Like, I can't think of any designer that hasn't been inspired by him. Austin wanted to dress the world. Bill Blass wanted to dress the world, Anne Klein. So it was something that was on the minds of the designers at that time. But it just wasn't done like today. You couldn't have done Target. But today, you could do anything. You could do what you'd like and make people happy. I love that it's wearable for everyone. Well, it's I tried so... to keep the same feeling. Yeah. When I did Target, we gave the sketches. A month later, we saw samples that were almost perfect. It's refreshing to have color, <laughs> huh? isn't it? Well, it's... it's the essence of my work. The essence of Burroughs is the color. It has to be colorful. It has to be playful. It has to be interesting. It's almost like you catch that bubble of time 
because it was so happening then, and you take an inspiration from right. that place then and now, and yes. recreate into something new. It's mm. important. Rev it up into today. Yeah. I love it, Stephen. No, thank you.